When we prepare this interim budget in a short span, there were certain shortcomings. If we have missed something, we will come forward with it. We will not limit it to mere words. We will make the changes. There may be more shortcomings in our budget. We did not introduce the mansion tax to tax those who have inherited their ancestral homes. Money made through illegal means has resulted in mansions popping up here and there. We have formulated certain parameters for this. We do not hope to tax those who have inherited their ancestral homes and also those who took a long time to build their houses. These parameters will be introduced in the near future, so the people do not need to panic. We will do this in a just manner. Deputy Minister Dr. Harshadi Silva also commented on the super gains tax that will be imposed on any company or individual who has earned profits over 2,000 million rupees in the tax year of 2013-2014. If an individual is achieving super gains through corrupt acts, this will be imposed. One can only gain a super profit if there is no competition. That is a fundamental in economics. Things that have been unlawfully achieved through super profits needs to be distributed to the people. That is why this is a one-off payment. We met the business community on Friday evening. They announced that they have no displeasure towards paying back the taxes that are due. Uh, when considering the mansion tax, it practically is a major problem. When they say buildings with an area more than 5,000 square feet, does it include government buildings and other buildings too? If it is only for homes, then what are the parameters and how will they be decided? Does it include rented homes? There are ancestral homes handed down from generation to generation where the residents can no longer afford to pay taxes. Without any parameters whatsoever, when they say they are going to charge taxes on mansions and give it to the poor, it is difficult for us to think that this will provide any relief to the people. They say they are going to charge taxes effective in the past from the high income earners. These people may have already paid their taxes. Are they going to charge all of the due taxes or only a portion? There are several such problems.